Councilman Virgie Lindsay believes the Pearl River is one of Jackson's greatest untapped resources. I mean, this river is really um, a gem that we don't get to pull out of the jewelry box because it is uh, tucked away and we really don't have access to our river in the city. Lindsay says the much talked about one lake development project on the river could be a huge game changer for the capital city's economy. It would be um, access to a riverfront that we don't have access now. I mean, there's a wall of concrete between our city and our residents in the Pearl River. I'm one that believes that this one lake project is going to happen. And when it does in Town Creek through downtown Jackson, and it's going to make a tremendous difference. It's For nearly 40 years, local leaders have been debating how to prevent a repeat of the 1979 Easter flood on the Pearl River that inundated much of Jackson. Why has it taken so long and why hasn't something happened? Well, prior efforts, uh, there's been the Shaco dry, dry Dam that failed because of local opposition. Uh, the levees, a larger levee system was attempted uh, at one point, and downstream folks were concerned about how that would affect them. So there's been a lot of attempts and, and various reasons for, for failure. Rankin High's Levee Board Attorney Keith Turner believes one lake could succeed. He says the project calls for adding 1,000 acres of water around the river by widening the waterway between Jackson and Flowood. Take a look at this recent satellite photo of the project. This shows the existing Pearl River, the area inside the blue lines here. That's where the water will go once the river has been expanded both public access, but also economic development. You can have economic development in here. Supporters say no homes or businesses would be forced to move. They admit the $350 million price tag could be One Lake's biggest challenge. It is expensive. It's very expensive to build um, the One Lake project. Tonight, you're gonna hear some information that we have, some of our concerns, and some of the questions still pending about this proposed project. A host of environmental groups have lined up against the project. Opponents recently spoke to a crowd packed into the Smith Robertson Museum for a community meeting on One Lake. The downstream uh, folks are worried about too little water coming down the river when there's a drought. That the water held up in Jackson would, you know, reduce their chances for getting enough flow downstream. And I will say this, there's a lot of misinformation out there about this project. There are certain groups and individuals that are spreading complete inaccurate information about this project and its impacts, whether it be downstream or, or metropolitan impacts. You know, the Pearl River is a very large river and it flows all the way south into Louisiana. So it, it, has, it has a lot of impact. And so all of that has to be truly vetted and understood anytime you make a change on a river lake. Reporting from Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.